All right, ladies and gentlemen, to draw the old SketchUp logo, you can see on my screen here, this is the new SketchUp logo. Um, but we're going to draw the old SketchUp logo. And what we're going to do is take our rectangle tool. And out here uh, near Temple's foot, we're going to click and drag a rectangle on the ground. I am not holding the button down of the mouse. We don't want to be a button holder. It's a click and release program. And while the uh, rectangle is live, I guess you could call it because it still moves around, you can see the numbers, the dimensions changing here. What you want to do is let go of your mouse um, with your right hand or left hand, whatever hand you hold the mouse with. Use that same hand to type in the measurements. And the measurements are going to be three apostrophe, that means feet, comma, three apostrophe, and then enter. And that should give you a rectangle, or I'm sorry, a square that is three feet by three feet. We're then going to use the push-pull tool, and you can grab the push-pull tool right here, or you can hit P on the keyboard. And then, again, click and release. Don't hold the button down. And now when I move the mouse up and down, you can see it lifting um, that square into a three-dimensional shape. We want to make it three feet tall. So we're just going to type three, apostrophe, enter. And there we have a three foot by three foot by three foot cube. Now, to make the uh, logo, we're going to use our rectangle tool again. And from this corner, we're going to draw a rectangle. Now, you might notice here that it's going up. We don't want that. We want it to go out this way. And we want this rectangle to be two feet by two feet. So two apostrophe comma two apostrophe like that. And then we're going to want another one on the top. Uh, that is one foot comma one foot enter like that i can push the wheel of my mouse to get my orbit tool and i can look at it from different perspectives if you don't have a mouse um, you can click on the orbit tool right here and then just orbit around and look at it and now we're going to take our push pull tool and we're going to push this section down two feet we're going to then take this section, click on it, move it in the downward direction. Again, I'm not holding the button of the mouse. And I want this one to go down one foot. And there we have the SketchUp logo. Now, a couple things we have to do. We want to add color. The SketchUp logo is traditionally red. You can pick any color you want. Make it your own. You could even get creative here and make it a material if you want. Like maybe you want it to look like metal or polka dots or whatever you want to do, um, that is okay. But I'd like you to color everything except the top. And the top surface will remain white. So learn how to orbit around and cover everything except the top. Again, it could be any color you want. The last thing we need to add to this would be measurements or dimensions. Over here in our tape measure tool, the second tool from the top is called the dimensions tool. With the dimensions tool, you can click at the end of a line, click at the other end of a line, and then drag your mouse away from the object a little bit so we can see that it's three feet by three feet. Of course, if it's three feet there and three feet there, we don't need both of those, so I'm gonna undo that. We've got the height, we've got, we could call that the length, and now we're going to need the width over here. Now, we'd also like to know that each of these steps is a foot like this and like that. We'd also like to know the width of each step. It's a foot that way and a foot that way. When you have all of these measurements in place like this, at that point, um, up here, you're going to title it your name and then logo so i'm going to type mr z logo you're going to put your name there then you're going to take your snipping tool and you are going to take a picture of it i'm just going to save this in a folder for now and you're going to submit it with your name in the picture so if we have to maybe zoom in a little bit like this we'll take our snipping tool and we're going to grab a picture of it with the measurements and the colors and your name and that's what you're going to submit to the uh, SketchUp assignment. Make sure you save that picture and then submit it. Good luck.